Hello everyone, welcome to match 3 of Esper Demonic Starfield. We have handily taken care of a couple of black-green sacrifice decks, and we're in a position to keep going. Hopefully we find something different, though, to play against. But, uh, I'm not too picky. Ooh, a human deck. Okay, so finally an aggressive matchup. Unfortunately, this is uh, not the best hand equipped to deal with that, but between the unmaking snare and the pacts, we might be okay. I'm gonna just transform, find a silk wrap into a um, what are those guys? I'm gonna play the prairie stream in case we find like an oath of Jace that I'd rather play. I doubt that. Uh, we'll see what we find. Um, the dream is to play a silk wrap or stasis snare into a wasteland strangler. Doesn't get much better than that. Our opponent's stuck on one land though, pretty as it is. Or plains, excuse me. The Raven Inspector. Oh, I was really hoping we would find a um, good old flaying tendrils. But here it looks like we're going to have to stay the snare of the Kytheon. Don't want him to transform. Alternatively, we could just get rid of the rabble. Actually, I think that's better. Um, this thing can actually deal more damage, and he needs two things to attack alongside him in order to be relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of him now. I guess I could have waited in case his next turn involves playing a Griff Spoon, but he likely would have kept his threat separate and put it on the Thraben Inspector, so it wouldn't have made a difference. Still no lands for him? Looks like it. There's Stasis Snare. So we could play Stasis Snare and, um, and uh, a Tap Land, but I think I would rather play the Caves, painful as it is, and play... The demonic pact if we can get that going because he's stuck on lands i think that's the best play get this rolling kill kytheon before it transforms and um start drawing cards and we've even got the angelic purge to handle it but i think we're all right i'm gonna go ahead and just deal four we've got lands to play and removal so next turn we're gonna want to draw two so that we can guarantee playing soren Take down Kytheon. Gain a bunch of life. Unfortunately, not uh, an untapped land, so we can't hold up the Silumgar's command for whatever, but we've got Unmaking and Stasis there, so plenty of answers. Lieutenant. That's a bit annoying. Let's see if he transforms the Gossip Monger. I doubt he will, but okay. That is what he'll do, so let's uh, get rid of it. The next turn we've got command to bounce. Hmm, in that case, I'll let him transform actually. It'll be a 3 4. I can bounce it and kill the inspector. So I think I'm just going to take out the Thalia as a tenant actually. Again, I don't think that it matters, but uh, should make the optimal play, of course. And let's see what we find. Hmm. No lands, but that's all right. So I think, yeah, we're just going to hold up command, bounce the rabble, kill the inspector, and leave it at that. Just want to play Soren once against an aggro deck. See how miserable it makes them. All right. You got to go, and you got to die. Oh, okay. Black. Oops. Black and blue. I guess he sacrifices his clue to find a land, <laughs> so just keep playing out mediocre threats. Like the rabble, or gossip monger, and another Thraben inspector or something. Oh, nothing. Alright, have you discard some cards? Reflector mage and declaration in stone. So I really want to play the Soren, but I also don't want to die, so I'm going to purge. I could take out the clue, um, but also the Gossip Monger. I assume he's got enough stuff in hand that he's going to not have time to sacrifice the clue. So with that in mind, I'll just go ahead and dispose of this. Sacrificing my Demonic Pact. Exiling the Town Gossip Monger. Where will they go to hear about 
the latest gossip. I do not know. I'll play another for Jace as well. So, definitely gonna get rid of um, Anguish Done Makings, I guess. I don't think it matters. Those are our answers to Demonic Pact, but between the Pact and Soren, I think we'll be okay. Play the Knight. He got his lands again. That's good for him. So we are against Blue-White. He's going to probably be bringing counters next game. That is alright with us. So we could play Demonic Pact and the Stasis Snare this turn. Is that better than just playing Soren? I wonder. I think I just want to get Soren down. And I'll bolt that guy. Or soul burn him, I guess, is more accurate. Black, white, X, deal X damage, gain X life. Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing that he's going to use to pump. Keep my loyalty high. And pass the turn. We've got oodles and oodles of answers in hand. He's got more knights. That is just fine. And now, with the oath of Jace out, we actually get to start scrying. That's kind of a new thing. Now we just want to find a languish or something. Concoction, we can do better than that. A languish, okay. Um, yeah, I, I called that. I knew it would happen. Let's go ahead and languish and animate our shamblin bed. Could hold up the stasis snare, but uh, okay, he scoops. So that was unfortunate for him, getting stuck on so few lands for so long. Uh, we kept a very slow hand, I would say. We were playing spells starting on turn three, but to me, this deck is slow if there's not a dead weight or silk wrap going down before turn three. So he's going to maybe be bringing in counter spells. Blue for reflector mages and something else. So um, virulent plague, not the best. Uh, even flaying tendrils. So... With always watching out, this puts a lot of his creatures out of its range, but I still think on the draw it might be worth it. He could go turn mm -hmm. one, turn two creatures, and then uh, and always watching, but the only things that would be out of my range then would be um, three of inspectors and transformed gossip mongers, so I think it's still worth keeping in. Anguished Unmakings are one of my only answers, besides mm -hmm. purges and temporary answers like mm -hmm. command and disperse to a an always watching. So there's an argument to keep those. I like the Blood Curse Knights. <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to leave his Reflector Mages in. I didn't actually show many mm -hmm. Wasteland Stranglers, so mm -hmm. they might have come out. I have no idea how many playables he has in his sideboard. Silumgar seems okay. He's quite expensive, but... A nice body that's really hard to block or to attack through and survive or anything like that and also taking something like a knight of the white orchid could be relevant uh, a board wipe it's just i think too many six mana cards to have so i'll leave that in the board i think um, let's see we can take out a starfield and maybe one in making and one disperse and one uh command I'm thinking maybe just so many expensive cards so alternatively take out a land but bring in the dragon lord I think I'm going to keep it this way so uh, on to game two see you in a moment 